Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Endpoint Management. In this short video, we will highlight some of the key functionality and features surrounding Carbonite Endpoint's centralized management capabilities while highlighting its benefits. So let's go ahead and get started. All of the management for Carbonite Endpoint is performed within the Carbonite Endpoint dashboard. From here, you will likely just need to go to the Devices section. Here you can quickly find or search for the device to manage. Once discovered and accessed, many features are available, and we'll only talk about a few of them. In the Manage Device section, you can quickly and easily put a device on legal hold, and you can also delete data from the device. By putting a device on legal hold, this allows end users to be able to continue to work on their devices, but protects the backups in the vault from being deleted. This is especially beneficial in regulated industries and when there is pending litigation, as the data from a point in time can be accessed, restored, and provided when necessary. The Delete Data from Device section is a critical feature for companies when devices are lost or stolen. When selected, Data that resides on that device will automatically be deleted and the agent is disabled. This can protect sensitive information from being taken. Even though the data is deleted from the device, it's not deleted from the vault and can be easily restored to another machine to get that user back up and productive more quickly. Another great feature under Devices is the Restore section. This feature, if allowed by the company, allows you the ability to restore data on the behalf of the end user. This is especially beneficial when an end user cannot restore their data on their own device for whatever reason. It's very similar to the restoration that's performed within the agent. You can search or drill down into the file system to get the files and or folders necessary, along with the ability to restore from the most recent backup or from a previous backup in the event of corruption or malware. You even have the ability to control conflicts just like the agent does. However, one key benefit that is unique to this restoration section is the ability to restore to a different device which is especially useful when the original device is not available. For security and auditing purposes, any admin restore is also logged in the company section with details of what was restored, where it was restored, and by whom. The last section under Devices is Location. If enabled, geolocation is used to pinpoint the last place the devices were connected to Carbonite Endpoint. This can be very helpful when trying to track down a lost device or to assist in the recovery of a stolen device. It will use a combination of Wi-Fi or GSM, if possible, to precisely locate the device. It will show it on a map for you. The other primary section where we would manage Carbonite Endpoint is the Report section. Use one of the pre-built reports or create and customize your own so you can showcase the details of your endpoint management. There are 25 different data points that can be gathered and can range from deployment to usage to administration. There's also several report types as well based on time, the company, devices, and or users for greater flexibility. Carbonite Endpoint even has some graphical information that is shown on the home screen of the dashboard to see quick information at a glance. Having data that can be gathered, shown, and shared is vital for an organization since data-driven information is a key factor to success. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Endpoint Management. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day.